Hey y'all, Dekumon here, and welcome back to FF14 Heavensward. This might be a long episode. Kind of depends. I may end up having to chop this one up because we are going all the way, baby. That's right. I'm not stopping this recording until Heavensward, at least 3.0, is in the rearview mirror. We are going all the way to the end of the main story today. Anyway, last time... We unfortunately had to say farewell to another friend. Rest in peace, Lady Iceheart. You will be missed. Unfortunately, she's not coming back. But her sacrifice was not in vain as it took down the Garlean airship and let us reach Azzy's Law. And what a freaking place this is. Look at this place. This place is insane. Like, it is mind boggling how crazy cool this place looks. I kind of the reason I wanted to start here is just the fact that I wanted to show this place off. It looks a nuts. Oh. But to the structure of Azzy's Law, before we get too far to this, uh, the place is basically broken into four big islands in the corner, and then one small island up in the center, which is the airship. Get Shoo! Shoo, I am talking here. I don't need you stupid enforcement droids causing me any trouble. Good lord. <sighs> uh, this is... What sector is this? Because they're all labeled. This is the Alpha Quadrant. I'm guessing we're going to have to go in order to deal with each of... Ow. These. There goes a bunch of my HP. And we really don't have that many quests left. I think there's... Specifically, I think there's only four... Maybe five quests at the most before I am done. Kind of a scary thought. Oh my goodness. The both of you! The both of you, I swear! Shoo! 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 Thank you, go away. Nobody loves you! Final Fantasy 13 rejects. Sheesh. Beep. You are currently within the Alpha Quadrant. First, you must use the nearby matter conduit to travel to the Beta Quadrant. Please wait a moment while I activate it. Well, at least this little guy is polite, although I'm still half expecting him to get us killed unintentionally at some point. You know, it's an Oligan computer. It doesn't understand that this place is a death trap, or it simply doesn't care. Ah. <sighs> And now these matter transporters are how we get from one sector to another. You see the one that just lit up in the background over there. So in order to get to where we're going, we basically have to traverse each of these four sectors. And let me tell you, do not stop once you get on your mount. Just keep going. You can outrun these things. You don't have to worry. It used to be a problem where if you were mounted and you got tagged by a world bomb, it would actually slow you to a crawl. Thankfully, they uh, took this out. I think it's Stormblood. Because it was kind of a pain in the ass. I get the idea of stopping people from running through all the world mobs, but I'm going to be honest, it drove me nuts. Damn. Huh. What are these? Uh, mini versions of Etherites? Pretty handy. Oh, and that completes the quest. I'm thinking... How it's going to be is every quest is going to lead us through one sector to another. According to my records, this conduit was last serviced approximately 5,014 years, 6 months, 11 days, 7 hours, and 13 minutes ago. That it should function without mishap may be described as a miracle. Wow. Wow. Just, just... <laughs> great! Great! Ooh, actually, I'll take the tenacity. I am a tank. I can use tenacity. Uh, chimerical maintenance. Oh, no. Beep. Resuming guidance to the Aetherochemical Research Facility. Please follow me. This sector, the Beta Quadrant, is home to laboratories which produce chimerical life forms for both military and household applications. The hell kind of use at a household do you have for chimeras? 
our facility has been awarded three-star certification for compliance with ASO-3001. The good behavior of the creatures born here is guaranteed. Please be warned, however, that millennia of neglect may have had an adverse effect on their disposition. For your own safety, please refrain from approaching the creatures. Ugh, criminelli. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, no, no, the, the creatures around here are anything but friendly. They are salty. Also, Beta Quadrant happens to be home to a giant flipping cave complex that, if memory serves, is kind of a pain in the ass to navigate. And there's Lamias everywhere, of course there are. Excuse me, ladies. I said excuse me. Ah, oh, crap. I hate it when my map gets tangled up like this. I can never tell where I'm supposed to go. Especially since on my big map, a lot of it's not revealed. Ah, there we are. Thank you. Uh, oh dear. Can I get up that? just might be able to. I just might be able to. Come on, baby. Come on. Yes. Oh. Oh, sweet shortcut. You are mine. Okay. I think I made it through there with minimal headaches. Oh. Keep unable to activate matter conduit. Energy shortage detected. Identifying cause. Cause identified. Unauthorized siphoning of energy by chimerical creatures, locations, the recombination labs, and the biomass incubation complex. Oh, crap. Time is short. Let us split up and eliminate the culprits. Dekumon, pray dispatch the creatures at the recombination labs. The rest of us shall sweep the incubation complex. Take care and return hither when you are done. Okay, I was half expecting a nod, but no, my guy just goes and watches. Son of a... Ugh! Where is it? Where is... Oh, it's all the way back there! Oh, dang it! Oh, long trek, here I come. Okay, finally made it. Finally made it. Purple smoke. I'm assuming there's actually three purple smokes. Because it says zero out of three, or it'll just spawn three creatures. I don't know. We'll find out here. Do each of you guys count as one? You do not. Okay, so that means there's two more spots. I gotta find them both. I see the next one over there. Awesome. was a fun little diversion. Beep. Energy restored to the conduit. Please wait a moment while I activate it. <sighs> kind of on the node side with this one. I'm pretty sure I'm amazed these things actually work worth a damn. And I'm sure there's going to be other lovely obstacles stopping me from turning on the next one, right? Oh, there it is. Holy cow, that's way back there. You know, bridges work just fine, Alligans. Don't need these stupid fancy-ass teleporters for everything. Sheesh. Okay, we're done with Beta Quadrant. Let's head over to what I'm guessing is Gamma Quadrant. You know, one of these things is just going to malfunction while we're on it, and we're going to end up in the middle of the flipping void. Or it's gonna drop us right into a pack of Garleans because of memory serves Gamma Quadrants where the Garleans landed. Right? Hmm? Son of a bitch, I was right. Yep! Ah, we're gonna take a little side trip and wreck their ship? So, the Guardians managed to land. 
Repairs on the vessel appear to be well underway. I doubt they will leave any time soon, however. Nay, they will remain here long after they have stripped the Isle of its secrets. Whether or not they mean to linger, their presence here and now is an unwelcome complication. Indeed, let us avoid confrontations unless absolutely needful. Sounds good to me. Oh, and that ends that quest. Uh, keep the crits. I like crits. Crits are good. Crits are good on Gunbreaker. Thank you. Oh, great. Yeah, they've got freaking vanguards out already. Son of a bitch. Mandatory stealth section. Here we come. Oh, close encounters of the sixth kind. Ooh. Yeah, because these are the. This is the sixth legion. Warning. Intruders detected in force in this quadrant. It is recommended that you avoid confrontation where possible. Be kindly reminded that, in accordance with the terms and conditions of use, you and your party assume all risks of damages or injury, including death, that you may sustain in the course of guidance. Please follow me to the next matter conduit. It leads to the Delta Quadrant where the facility's greatest achievement is located. Your greatest achievement, you say? Hmm. Speak with the Stinian. That's not the instruction I was expecting. I was expecting go to the matter transmitter, but I guess we're going to get stopped part way. Oh my god, you guys are already setting up watchtowers too? Damn, you're moving right in. Uh, excuse me. I'm just going to sneak around you. Great. Oh, what are we gonna do about these guys? We can't leave them here. You know, they stole it in Alphanor, right? They'll just strip this place bare and make the Garlean Empire that much stronger. How do we dislodge them? Is there a big old gun up on that thing? Oh my god, I finally got a good look at that. That is the center of Ozzy Slaw, the flagship. And maybe I can find me a big old gun on the deck and take down that battleship. Oh crap, they're already out here too? Good lord. Well, I guess we did have two islands to explore. Wait, something is afoot. Mm -hmm. Damn, Empire music's going strong. Is the Emperor out and about? No, but the Legatus is here. Gonna say something, dude? You're just gonna stand there looking menacing. Our objective lies at the heart of the isle. Oh, okay. The third will remain to guard the ship, while the second patrols the perimeter and eliminates any threats. <laughs> and no screw ups. The first will come with me to secure the research facility. Hmm. I feel like I'm gonna be running into you guys when we go there then. Let no man doubt the import of our mission. The Alagans found a means to capture icons alive. And their knowledge lies hid upon this isle. Oh. If we can but acquire it, we would be able to prevent the beings from returning to plague us, thus ending the cycle of rebirth. Hmm. Interesting. But considering it's Alagans, I assume they did it by basically enslaving the people and, you know, just keeping them there. I need not remind you that success will raise our legion high in the Emperor's regard. <laughs> Yet, by the same token, his radiance does not tolerate failure. That is all. All troops, prepare for deployment. <laughs> his voice, man. I'm sorry, I can't even, I can't take you seriously with that voice. You know, I've got a spare Empire uh, uniform in my tank. I could suit up and, you know, do a little Metal Gear in. No? Ah, oh, that was just a suggestion. I mean, I have a gun blade. It's close enough to what they're using. So that is their purpose. Mm-hmm. 
to think that the knowledge used to bind no lesser being than Bahamut sleeps here. Yeah, but we know what that entails. Let's not go that route. Imprisoning a primal in such a manner would represent an effective means to halt the cycle of summoning, were it not for the grave and obvious risks. <laughs> mm-hmm. Indeed. We need but refer to past experience, that of Bahamut's calamitous return, to see why this is not the solution we seek. Yep. Held in duress, a primal will continue to nurse its hatred for mankind. And when it inevitably breaks free, its rage will be beyond quelling. Yeah, uh, and I don't want to have to deal with another Bahamut. Whatever folly the Garleans mean to commit, they can wait. We must remain focused on our task. Well, wow. okay. Yes, of course. It would not be polite to keep the Archbishop waiting. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. Far be it from me to turn down whacking some Garleans, but all right. All right, now I have to make it to the Guidance Node, which is Zetale, supposedly. Oh my god. Castrum Soul. You guys have already set up a Castrum here? Never been on the freaking island an hour. Uh, I mean, you call it a caster, but it's really just space you guys have managed to clear out for yourselves. Yeah, I'm ignoring you. I'm ignoring you. You can't catch me on my slow-ass little mana cutter, can you? No, yeah, none of you can. Why don't you get some mounts of your own? Maybe then you'll actually catch up. Uh-oh, looks like the Guidance Node is under attack. Criminelli. Garleans? Uh, okay. Beep. That you have survived to this point is in defiance of probability, but it appears the danger is not yet past. Look behind you, dumbass. Beep boop. Warning. Intruders approaching. Please eliminate them if you wish to proceed. Oh. Oh, hold up. I see a medicus. That's basically a healer. Oh my god. Did he go down in one hit? I think he did. Uh, oh, hi guys. Oh man. Oh man, I am way overpowered for you poor sods. Oh, oh, I apologize so much. You guys just cannot take a punch. Oh, I see another Medicus. Oh, I know exactly what I'm using on you. The old fang and claw combo with a little talon thrown in. Damn. He survived that only because he had that defense buff. Oh. That's a duty calls. Let me guess, a buttload more Alec gets about to head my way. Oh, thanks for confirming, Alpha No. Oh. Yep. Here they come. Probably with the big guy not far behind him. Ah, oh, we all get to play now. That would explain my men's silence. We meet again. And this time, we will not be interrupted. Probably not. Not gonna help you any, though. Oh. Oh, you want a little one-on-one -on -one action? Well, I'm happy to oblige. Oh, I thought it was gonna be one-on-one. -on -one. But you wanna take on all of us? I don't think you're gonna like the result of that. But hey, that's me. Give me a second charge here before I decide to go into this guy with the old fang and claw. Better than that, dude, you're already at 86. Where are you aiming those things? <laughs> uh oh. Minis! Yeah, I agree with the steady end. Yeah. Weenies. That's all you guys are. Hey! I got weenies to play with. 
Then you and I can continue our little duel, Regulus. So it comes to this. Oh! <gasps> Alpha, no, you got your new carbuncle! Huh. I guess all that time with Master Matoy has paid off! What is this, hand to the Empire? Oh, 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 you did nothing. Air support, oh no. Oh. Oh no, get the hell out of here. I remember that little gag. I remember Keeper of the Lake, dude. You don't get to get away with that. And your little X is there, not that much of a threat. <laughs> Especially not when I can chase you like that. And off they go. Uh, hold up. Thank you. Out of the fire. There we go. That's already almost charged again. And your hand of the Empire just does not do enough damage for me to give a crap about you. And Astinian's off there outside of the arena, along with the Shulin. They're just going to town on your little weenies. Oh, fudge. That looked like it was super risky. There we go. I do not like having those things sitting there. Come on, dude. There you go. Point that this way. Gotcha. Well, good enough. I had heard the tales of your strength, warrior of light. And now that I have experienced it firsthand, and Maelsar's defeat seems less inexplicable. Hmm. I need to turn up the voices on that. So apologies if the music gets a little loud here. Thoroughly enjoyed our time together. Alas, all good things must come to an end. Alagan's secrets await, and there is no profit to be had in remaining here. Oh, piss. He's just gonna walk away? You really think we're just gonna let you walk away? Not happening. Huh? Oh, no. Oh, no. You're gonna sacrifice your mooks to escape? Coward. Oh, piss. <laughs> oh. oh, that's a lot of dudes. Hey, Stoli, you got that fancy new spell you can throw at them? Keep them occupied. Yes, he is just gonna, he's just gonna walk off. You jerk. We were enjoying that fight. Fine, fine. We'll have our shot at you later, I'm sure. But right now, got an army of small fry to carve my way through. Coward. Exactly. Thank you, Astinian. It would seem we have no choice. You must continue on. We will hold them here. Oh? Are you sure? Take the eye. It should still hold enough energy to be of use to you. What? Why? I don't want the thing, it's creepy! Oh my goodness. I shall join you as soon as I am able. I'm not sure I want this thing, but fine. Take it. Stinny, if this thing possesses me, I swear to God I'm killing you first. Enough talk. Make haste and stop the Archbishop. Damn. Two in a row. All right, Node, show me the way home. There's only one sector left. I wonder what the last sector's gonna look like. All right, you three better be all right. I don't need to be losing any more friends. This expansion's already killed off two good characters.
Teleporting for one. All alone. Oh boy. Whoa. Oh, that last sector looks remarkably different from the others. What the hell is that? Wow, it literally just warped me all the way here to Delta Quadrant. Hmm. Welcome to the Delta Quadrant, where methods are developed for mastering dragons. Oh. To this day, the sector is home to live specimens brought over from the southern continent of Maricidia. Truly a testament to the greatness of the Alagan Empire. You guys have live dragons here. Ooh. I, uh... I wonder if Race Felgar knows about this place. Fetters of Lament? Oh dear. Beep. I regret to inform you that the matter conduit leading to the flagship is no longer functioning. My bad. According to my records, it was destroyed by a dragon, which broke free of its restraints when they failed approximately 2,369 years, 1 month, 24 days, 7 hours, and 4 minutes ago. Please find an alternate route to the Aetherochemical Research Facility. The Allegon Research Council apologizes for any inconvenience caused. Guidance node out. Hmm? Oh. Hey Midgard Summer, I haven't seen you in a while. So, thy journey hath led thee to this accursed place. Canst thou hear it, mortal? The ceaseless keening of my kindred, steeped in five thousand years of suffering. Long before the Ishgardians and their base betrayal, there lived still more wicked men whose ambitions knew no bounds. Fearful of our might and covetous of our power, they devised a means to enslave dragonkind. Their vile misdeeds did set in motion a train of events whose repercussions are felt to this day. Beyond, thou wilt find one of my first brood. Hark thou under her words, partake thou of her pain. Think thou upon the suffering that the conflict betwixt our kinds hath begot. Wait, one of your first brood is here? Holy cow. How the hell long has she been here? Seek out Midgard Silver's Child. It's the only thing to do in this quest. Oh, and I'm betting it's the big glowy thing up in the middle, isn't it? Oh, shit. It looks just like Bahamut. What the hell? Is that? No, that's definitely where I'm going. The quest markers lead me right the hell to. Oh, you gotta be. Go away! This is important! A great worm is being held in some manner of rich- Oh my god! She's alive! I thought she was in stasis or something, but no, she's moving! Is she still conscious? God damn, Alligans. Uh, yeah, sorry. Sorry. If I could free you, I would, believe me. <laughs> Wonder if she'll recognize you. Tiamat. Tiamat? Wait, the Tiamat? Queen Tiamat? <laughs> wow, she does recognize him. <laughs> I'm so glad I could understand dragon speech. Yeah, trying. Not working, but trying. 
the Allegans, they're dead, but yeah. Slosk on Tiamat e Lum e Midgar. They actually could kind of pick out the words every now and then. Midgard Somer. Are you a world traveler? Because that sure sounds like you are. From these eggs did my children hatch. And once they were full grown, they took wing and spread across all the lands of Hydaelyn. Ah. <laughs> What? Bahamut was an actual dragon before he was a primal. Interesting. years ago and the Assians were already causing merry hell? Allegans killed the original Bahamut, and the Assians basically tricked Tiamat into summoning him as a primal. <laughs> what? And then the Assians stabbed you in the frickin' back and gave the Allegans the means to ensnare him in Dalamud? Holy shit. 5,000 years. Talk about playing the long game, you guys. Yeah, we've already figured that out with the whole Shiva thing. And yeah, yeah, we've already figured that out. Mm, lovely. Oh, will do, sister, will do. Yeah, no kidding. Wow. She still holds herself responsible for Bahamut's summoning? That's why she's still here, isn't it? years is a long time to be kicking yourself. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Is it time? Has the finally crystal finally recharged? Oh. It looks like it. I guess having ourselves a little conversation with Tiamat was enough to awaken the crystal of fire. Yep, that's the one. We 
did it. We got all six crystals back. Oh, we're finally back in touch with Heidelin. Oh, just in time too. If we've got Assians to play with, we're gonna need this. Warrior of Light, beloved son. Oh, hey, Heidelin. Long time no hear. The light abideth within thy heart again. Full valiantly didst thou overcome thy many trials. But glory not in thy success. Oh, why not? For the servants of darkness are ever close at hand. Oh, okay, fine, I'll deal with them. Receive of me my blessing once more. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> and go forth to shine thy light on all creation. Man, those words are going to carry some interesting meaning in a couple of expansions. Thou hast broken down the wall I built around thee and partaken of thy mistress's blessing once more. Yep. And you got to watch. Happy now? Strong art thou, mortal. Stronger than any other of thy kind. Oh. Having looked upon thy deeds, I am convinced. Thou art worthy to bear her light. Oh, well, gee, thanks. Oh, what, does that mean you're gonna leave? The Covenant bound me to thee, but would seem our fates were mingled from the first. Though I will not fight thy battles, I will yet lend thee my wings. Eh? Oh, is our little baby dragon evolving? I hear wings. Oh! Damn, you had a growth spurt! Come, mortal! We go to cast out the darkness! Oh, oh, oh hell yes! He even comes with a saddle! <laughs> Sounds good to me. Oh yeah, new mount, baby! Don't have to fly around in the mana cutter anymore, thank goodness. Bye, Tiamat. I hope you feel better. Stop kicking yourself, it was 5,000 years. You can now ride Midgard Summer. Oh. Oh, sweet baby. Oh, <gasps> and as a bonus, I can now fly. Hails yes. Hails yes, uh. Warpy, new quest. Warby new quest. Uh, oh. Oh, level 60. This is it. This is the final quest. And it takes place on the flagship. Oh, hey. Hey, Guidance Node, you actually made it up here. Peep. Welcome to the flagship, Master Dekumon. You are almost at your destination. Beep boop. Warning. Intruders detected in the vicinity. Please eliminate them if you wish to proceed. Oh, again? Speak with the Guidance Node and defeat any enemies that appear. Well, I can fly, so I can at least get there a lot faster now. As soon as I figure out where there is. Oh, geez. Oh, this is a big place. What the? Oh. Oh, yeah. Uh, before we move on. I would like to point thy attention to the following three statues. There's one there. There's one over here. Oof, that's an ugly looking one. And there's one over here. Yeah. Uh, we will deal with these in the future, I promise. But in the meantime, there's our guidance node. I see the purple smoke. Warning, intruders approaching. Oh, damn it. Ha! Ah! 
more you guys. Oh, you can actually take a bit more of a punch now. Emphasis on a bit. That was still pretty embarrassing, dude. Thank you. Oh, there's a second wave. That's okay. Oh! 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 Oh, the wreck. The wreck was real. Uh, speak with the guidance note. Okay. Beep. Area secured. Lifting access restriction to the Aetherochemical Research Facility. Restriction lifted. You may enter the facility at your leisure. Ending guidance. Beep. Unknown energy source detected within the Aetherochemical Research Facility. Please exercise caution. I am pleased to have been of service to you, Master Dekumon. Please send my regards to Master Wedge. Deactivating. Beep. Ow. The Aetherochemical Research Facility is now accessible. It's time, guys. This is it. The final dungeon of the Heavensward main story. And thankfully, uh, Square has learned their lesson. This is not the BS pain in the ass that is the original final dungeons from Proper Board. These are four mans. Or I should say, this is a four man. And it's nowhere near the pain and suffering that the other one is. It's not cutscene riddled. I think there's only like two or three cutscenes, and well, they'll just have to suffer because I'm the tank, so. Alright, where are we? There we are, the Etherochemical Research Facility. It's 150 tombstones for knocking this one out, so it's pretty good size. Alright, your pursuit of the Archbishop has brought you to the Etherochemical Research Facility at the heart of the floating isle of Aziz Law. However, he and his knights are not the only threat for which you must be prepared. Shortly before your arrival, the 6th Imperial Legion entered the facility in search of the secret to mastering primals, and their presence will serve to complicate matters. With multiple factions and their ambitions set on a collision course, your mission promises to be fraught with danger and uncertainty both. 4-man dungeon, item level sync to 180, I need to be 142 to get in, well I'm 260, so I am really, really overgeared for this. Oh my gosh, that was instantaneous.